What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you interested in iOS downgrades. A new tool called Lit Down has been released and it's actually very good for downgrading your A7 devices back to iOS 10. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a program that allows you to repair your system errors, fix iTunes synchronization errors and of course enter an exit recovery mode. Check it out in the link below. So a new program has been released called Lit Down and it says in here quote an OTA downgrade tool for A7 devices. Now this tool is completely open source and it has been created by RA9 and as you can see here if you want to download the source code and of course check it out or modify it in any way you can definitely do so but it suffices to know that this program is based on the checkmate exploit by Axiomex and therefore is based on a bootroom exploit which means that the tool is actually very powerful. So you can currently download it for a Mac and of course it's available in the uh, DMG format so for Mac OS and the current version is version 1.0.2 it has been announced by RA9 here they said quote lit down 1.0.2 was released to improve disk usage and add custom IPSW creation breakpoints so of course it's important to know that this program works with custom made firmware or custom IPSW which means that it takes the IPSW or the firmware from Apple and it modifies it so that of course it patches it and it allows a downgrade now this is compatible with with the A7 devices. When we call a device an A7 device, we talk about the processor or the system on a chip that's inside that device and in this case it's A7. This program is only compatible with A7 devices which are basically the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2 and the iPad Mini 3. Only these devices are supported by this program currently. It may support other devices in the future but for now it only supports A7 devices. But what it does support is actually very good. There are accounts like this one in here, Apple Expert, who posted the fact that they managed to downgrade from iOS 12 all the way back to iOS 10. Now you would probably ask me why would you want to downgrade from iOS 12 to iOS 10 on an A7 device? Well A7 devices are not exactly very new at this point. We are talking about the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2, the iPad Mini 3, which are all very old devices by today's standards. In fact they are so old they did not receive the iOS 13 update. They are stuck with 12.4.8 and therefore they work pretty slow on 12.4.8 and 12 in general. Now if you are able to go back to iOS 10.3.3 for example which this tool allows then you would definitely be able to gain a lot of speed and performance for your device. For granted not all applications support iOS 10 anymore. Some of them require iOS 11 but if you're interested actually in speed more than compatibility or of course if you're nostalgic for iOS 10 then this tool in here would definitely do for you. Now when you download it, it looks like this. It's a pretty simple interface, it looks very much like the wallpaper from the iOS 10, just a little bit blurred, and all you have to do is to plug in the device in DFU mode, and of course select the IPSW for iOS 13.3.3. You can find that IPSW here on IPSW.me, you have to select your device, for example you go here to iPhone, and let's say you have an iPhone 5S global, you select it in here, and find 13.3.3, which is this one in here, and you press download in here, and you would be able to get the IPSW with no problem. So once you've got the IPSW you select it in here and then you press downgrade. Nothing much simpler than that. The program is pretty easy to use and of course it's actually quite good because it's open source as well. Now some of you may encounter an error. It's actually stated in the FAQ in here. It says the app is damaged and can be opened. So basically you would have to open the terminal and once you put the application in the applications folder in finder all you have to do is to run this command. Right so sudo and paste that command. You do that, put your password and after that you would be good to go. So basically that would fix this error. This app is damaged and can't be opened. If you do get that error definitely run that command. So yeah, that's basically it. This is a very interesting tool created for iOS 10 downgrade on very select devices. Only the A7 chip device is supported for now but it's actually based on the checkmate so more devices might be supported in the future. We do not know for now but definitely check it out if you have a compatible device and you are interested because people have been able to downgrade back to iOS 10 as you can see from here even from iOS 12. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.